Yo, what's up? Bringing you that I'm be that show 21. So we're back with the no money spent. Now, there's not that much for us to do, to be honest. But we did do the player program. And I think the tops now. Did I show you guys the tops now yet? I don't even like I don't even know what we have. <laughs> I don't okay. So we do we did the tops now, and then we did the player program for Juan Marshall. So let's go over the player program first. Now, this one, obviously, it's a lot of pitching missions or pitching moments, I should say. But you get 500 stubs, a show pack, another 1,000 stubs, two show packs, and then Juan Marshall. 90 overall card, has 111 stamina, 84 hit per nine, 80 K per nine, 85 walk per nine, got the 70. I mean, that doesn't even matter. <laughs> has 86 control with a 93 fastball, 85 slider, 76 screwball, 80 curve, 74 changeup. So... 90 overall breakout series card one should be good for collections right you know nice fodder right there but i do think this card looks pretty solid you know kind of a low-end diamond right now for you know a starting pitcher there's a lot that drop you know even team affinity season two all those starting pitchers the future stars those are really nice cards so we have better options but i do feel like this is gonna be a solid card for a 90 overall i do think he's gonna be a solid card so for missions, what we ended up doing, we got the win in events. You know, I feel like that's the quickest way if you can get the win in the first game. It took me two games to do it. But if you don't want to play online or anything like that, then play versus the CPU on all-star difficulty shouldn't be that bad. And then the moments. So the moments, you got to win a game from the seventh inning on. You have to pitch pretty much just three outs in the 16th inning. And then eighth inning and on, you got to finish that game and win it. Then pitch five innings, pitch seven innings, and win a game. So definitely some long moments, I guess. I, th I think overall, I mean, I wasn't really paying attention how long it took me. But probably to do the whole program, if you play like the CPU game also, around an hour, maybe an hour and a half at worst. But you definitely want to do that because you can also get some XP towards the third inning program. So I think there's a collection, right? Yeah, the collection gifts us 35,000 XP and it gets us a thousand stubs, which I guess isn't bad, but we definitely did it for the XP. So that puts us at 616K. What did we end up getting? Because I have no idea. We ended up getting, oh, we got the Space 3 Choice Pack. Okay, and we got a Diamond Ball Player, I believe. And I think we already had these. Yeah, I think we already had these. Did I have this too? I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know. We we definitely got some packs to open up though. So we're gonna we're gonna open up those next. And then I guess really quick, we got I mean there is daily moments. I didn't do today's daily moment, but I think when I do do it, we'll have this set five headliner. So we'll kind of save that. And then probably the next time I do a no money spend actually is when I get this evolution card. And I guess we get the Gary Carter card because really we're at the point where we don't really have to do a no money spent video every single day just because we're so far ahead. And there's also not that much for us to do. But going back to the moments, we did do the tops now. And that's for this set right here. May 31st to June 6th, you get two players. And the moments themselves, pitch one inning with Michael King. Pretty simple. You have pitched six innings with the Grom. Do not give up one run or two hits. So the two hits might be the difficult part here. I was, I was literally one out away the first time I did it. And I gave up my second hit. But the second time I did it, I didn't give up a single hit. So fastball high and in, off speed low and away. Probably best way to do that. And then this one, tally eight total bases with Cedric Mullins. I think this was kind of a pain. <laughs> this one definitely took me a few games. And then strike out 11 batters with Scubo. I don't really have trouble with strikeout missions like this. We got it done in probably five innings, four innings, something like that. And then tally four extra base hits. With Patrick Wisdom, I don't know if he had a shift on him. I don't remember. If he did, you know, you can use directional and try to hit away from the shift. But we definitely did this. Actually, it took me two games, but I didn't get any of the first game. And the second game, I actually got four. <laughs> so I don't know. That, that was kind of weird. But you play in San Francisco, and that's a good stadium to get doubles in. But obviously, you have to hit it into the outfield to do that. So again, I don't remember if he had a shift on him or not. But completing those moments, you obviously get the choice pack and then 1,600 stubs, which is pretty nice. So I guess we'll go on to our packs, open those up, see what we get out of them, and again, see what we have. So four show packs, space three, and tops now. Let's go to the show packs, see what we get in these four, and a bronze player to start it off. 
Next one right here, and a silver player. Oh, bronze, silver. Can we see a gold right here? And then the last one be a diamond. That would be kind of dope. We got a silver early on Duval. So we're probably not getting a diamond, right? Silver right there. Another Duval. Like what? All right. Tops now. Let's see. So we got some good cards here. We got Mullins and then Wisdom. So they're going for 8.3 already. Really? Hmm. They definitely went up. They definitely went up. I got to check these prices too. Actually, I can check them right here. So 8.3 to 9. I mean, I think when I told you guys to pick them up, like pick extra ones up, they were like 7K, but... 8.4 to 10 is pretty nice. So I think um let's go wisdom. He's a he's a better overall hitter, it looks like. Yeah, overall he's a little bit better. And I like those power numbers. So we'll take that. And then these guys, are they still going for 5k? Yeah, these guys are still going for 5k. I would pick up a bunch of these to be honest, but we're trying to invest in other stuff right now. So we'll kind of do like the, the investments we're trying to do right now, and then we'll kind of come back to the tops now. But for this one. We'll take, uh, you're both starting pitchers, right? Yeah. Um, I mean, I probably should take King, right? But we'll just take, we'll take Scooble and we'll kind of come back to that. Now for space three, I do hope we hit the rare tier for once because I would like Biggio. If not, you know, I know Rodriguez is a nice card. Tom Hankey's not bad. But Biggio, you know, when I used him the first time around, like when we debuted him, we had a two home run game with him. So let's see. Do we get the rare round? We don't. <laughs> we never do. We never do. But I think um, Rodriguez is also a very nice card. Like if he gets a future stars card, this card will be pretty nasty. And I'm pretty sure, is he is he the number one prospect for like pitchers? I think he's the number one pitching prospect right now. But this card, you know, for, for an 87 overall, Definitely a nice little budget card. I think we used him. Yeah, seven innings pitch. Actually, I lost with him. I lost with him, but we did good with him. You know, we did good with him. I think, though, for this, um, I guess it doesn't really matter. Actually, I could take prospects and just hold on to this card and then get the 10 prospect cards for, what's his name? For uh, Kelnick. You know, I definitely can do that. I like, I like the Cincinnati jerseys right here, so... I guess that's what we're gonna do with that pick and then let's see right now we are we are kind of investing we're investing in the base tier guys for the kitchen sink too so just looking at the completed orders really quick we got a few walter johnson's barry larkin this is kevin gosman before he got upgraded so i mentioned that the other day we ended up picking up some of him you can't do that now but we got dallas keichel also and then some more larkin some more keichels a lot of eloy jimenez and killer brew so we're kind of just investing right now we got them mostly at 10.3 it looks like to 10.5 and now i think they're a little bit more expensive let me see let me see we'll go to award series because i know there's two so right now keiko 11.6 11.7 and jimenez is kind of at 11.7 also i think these will hit 20k though so i would still say they're good cards to invest and you know, that's what we're trying to do. Like I said, we're at the point where we don't have anything to grind right now. And we're just trying to make stubs through investments. You know, if we can make stubs without really playing nor flipping the market. I mean, I don't know if you consider this flipping the market, but I'm not like sitting an hour a day flipping the market. You know, I kind of just pick cards up and, you know, wait a couple weeks and then hope they go back up. So that's what we're kind of doing right now to make some stubs. So I did dump around somewhere around like 600K to 700K into the base tier guys and then like i said about gosman you know that was kind of nice and we might be able to even get more of him so right now if we look at him he's going for a 2222 right so once all those 2222 orders for whatever reason go away i don't know what triggers this and people sell it at this price i don't know if it, like when you quick sell a card it comes here but we're obviously going to like quick sell the extra cards that we had so we picked up 12 at 2500 i have a bunch of active orders again you can't do this anymore you know we pretty much put these all in when he was a gold card like probably 10 minutes before he got upgraded and i didn't put it at like 3500 or 4000 like at the highest price i put it at a low price knowing that these cards they normally like the sell now price they normally get down to zero and you might get lucky and people start selling it at 2222 or whatever whatever the price may be but I want to see something right here. So there's 176. I'm going to go quick sell the 12 that I have. 5K each. Again, we got them at 2,500. So we definitely doubled up right there. 
But let me just see like what happens if I quick sell it. <laughs> I don't know if you quick sell it, it goes to like the sell now price. But if I sell it at 5,438, it's less than 5K. So I'm just going to quick sell them and quick sell the duplicates. We're going to get 60K off of that. So that's a really quick 60K. And let's go take a look at the market again real quick <laughs> just to see. Wait, what was the number? I don't even remember what the number was. It was 7.6, right? 7.6. Yeah, so it didn't change. I don't know who's selling it at like 2,222. I don't know how that works. But people, I guess, sell it at that price. And if you do, you're kind of dumb. But if we can get like the other 38 of those at 2K, whenever that may be, then we'll make we'll make even more stubs. But that was a quick 60K. And again, that's kind of where we're at right now. You know, we did all the offline grinding. We're done with all that. We're waiting for the next season of ranked seasons. And then, you know, I guess whenever the next Battle Royale program comes out, there probably will be a new event on Tuesday too, which should be pretty nice. You know, that's something we can grind out. But other than that, you know, we're just chilling <laughs> for the next couple of days. We'll probably have a ranked seasons gameplay on Tuesday when the new season starts. There is new rewards or new World Series rewards coming out tomorrow. We do know that Vita Blue is going to be one of the World Series rewards. So that should be a pretty nice card. But again, because we're so far ahead with like no money spent and everything, we'll probably only have two or three videos per week, like related to the no money spent grind, just because we've done everything. But you guys can watch the previous 50 episodes. You know, there's a lot of information and a lot of stuff that we've done daily, just in those that you guys can kind of catch up. Also, I should mention right now, the market is in a crazy place right now. <laughs> is in a crazy place right now where Trout's going for 500. DeGrom's now 233. Acuna's 273. I don't really know. Like, if you haven't done collections yet, I would just focus on Team Affinity. You know, do the Team Affinity grind. Get your packs that way. Hopefully, you pack something good in those packs. And then... You know sell off those duplicates and then try to pick up some of the live series cards because if you just try to get these cards right now they're just they're stupidly overpriced so hopefully there's going to be ways that you can get like 90 plus live series diamonds too that would be pretty nice but until then you know you just got to wait out a little bit and hope for those prices to dip but that's going to do it for this one if you guys are new make sure to subscribe drop a like in the video thank you guys for watching and i'm out